Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to maximize your lumber material when you're building chicken coops, chicken tractors, chicken brooders, uh, because most of the time, you're not gonna need a full width of your two by fours for such projects. And also, this is a vlog too, so uh, let's go say good morning to our chickens. <laughs> Got a piece of bread. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Fuzzy Muggins, good morning. Bernice. Good morning, Bernice. Freddy, what's up? Believe it or not, we have meat chickens coming in 35 days. That's gonna come quick. We have those chicken tractors moving. And when we have meat chickens coming, that's usually the start of spring for us. Because that's when it's go time, you know? That's when we gotta buy more feed also. Wow, we got some eggs. Gonna need a basket for this one. It also means I've been wanting to do a brooder, a brand new brooder system for us because I, I never liked our brooder setup in the past. And last year really got me thinking like we need a different setup. And a brooder is basically a little chicken coop for baby chicks. You know, they have a light, they, they have access to water and feed, and it keeps them warm for about three to four weeks until we're ready to put them out on grass. Hopefully I can start today because I have that many days to get that brooder going and, and get it done. Ooh, we got the jackpot. Guess we forgot to collect eggs yesterday. All right. We're getting about six or seven. Currently we're getting about six or seven eggs a day from all our chickens. Good job, girls. And Shirley. Not to be confused with Aunt Shirley. And with the E. <laughs> I have not been in my workshop lately pretty much all winter that's because I don't want to be in my workshop in the winter because that's the coldest time and my workshop's not insulated I got a new heat lamp look at this this is a newer safer heat lamp hopefully um, which I think it is um, and this is for our brooder system that we're going to be doing. Supposedly this should be more safer than the metal ones that you see, the little cheap metal ones uh, that we've normally used. And that was always been kind of worrying me because you hear about they start fires. So hopefully this will be a little bit more safer, a little bit more peace of mind. We're going to try that out, see how that works, that heat lamp, uh, once I make our brooder system. And I'll let you guys know about that. Also today though, Something that we've been wanting to do for a long time, possibly buying a trailer, a camping trailer. You know, I mentioned this before, we've been trying to look for a new place and it might be a possibility that we might be living in a trailer uh, while we build, while we fix up a place, I don't know. But I believe just having that option would be good to have. And we've always wanted a trailer, but of course we cannot have just any trailer. So today I'm going to go look for or look at a vintage trailer. 
I don't know if I'm gonna buy it. I'm just gonna go and look at it and see how that goes. I know eventually we're gonna be converting something, whether it be a van or a bus or a trailer, something. It's, it's, it's bound to happen. With the price of two by fours and wood going up, or actually it went up uh, this past year, things are pricey, right? To buy lumber. So to maximize your two by fours here, if you're gonna make things with two by fours, not every time where you're gonna actually need the whole width of the two by four. So if you could get away with it, I would suggest splitting this in half, ripping it in half. Chicken coops, chicken brooders, um, anything like that, chicken tractors, uh, you might be able to get away with splitting down your two by four and that will maximize uh, the amount of material that you're buying. Every two by four is different width for whatever reason. So this two by four is actually different. This is a treated two by four than another treated two by four that I got. Um, they're just different sizes, a little bit different. This one's three and five eighths. And so you divide that by two, which is an inch and 13 sixteenths. Now 13 sixteenths on a tape measure, 13 sixteenths is that spot, that little mark right there between three quarters of an inch and seven eighths. Three quarters and seven eighths, you're looking at right there is your middle of your two by four. You're gonna place your table saw blade right in the middle of that mark. All right, so now, now we're gonna set our fence on our table saw. The middle of this blade is right in the middle of 13 sixteenths, which is between three quarters of an inch and seven eighths. Let's measure again. Measure twice, cut once, lock it. Now you wanna put your two by four, you gotta bring up your blade, just so it hits above the wood, that's where you want it. Also a push stick guys, push stick. There it is. That's my homemade push stick. Here's another push stick. This one came with my table saw and that, that's what you want there to be able to push your piece along. Or if you have a stick that you could push along the two by four, because you don't want to get your hands in there. In case you slip, you might take a hand off. You know what I mean? When you start the two by four, you want to place it in the blade first and while you're holding it with one hand, you get your push stick to push with your other hand. Now that is a beefy two by two, right? So if you're to buy the two by twos already pre-cut for you at the hardware store, they're a lot smaller than this. So these ones actually measure out to about an inch and three quarters by an inch and a half. Uh, and depending you know, the width of your two by four, you'll get about that. Now for a chicken coop or a chicken tractor, you're not gonna need anything bigger than this, really. It really depends on your situation, but I think for the most part, this is gonna hold in a chicken and keep out a predator uh, because these are really beefy boards still. Also a rabbit hutch, rabbit tractor, these are good for. And these will also make some strong walls if you're framing out a chicken coop or a stationary coop. You know, you don't need a full two by four to make that happen. All right, now one's down. I have these more to go because I'm ripping all these down in half and I'm building my portable brooder. I hope this helped you get you some different ideas on how to maximize your lumber because it is expensive for sure. And I don't know if it's gonna go up anymore, <laughs> but we need to find creative ways to save money. What are you making, Penelope? Um muffins for the chickens so this is leftovers our leftovers we're cleaning out the fridge and the chickens get the rest of it mm -hmm. well, looks good i think bernice is gonna love it all right i may come back with a trailer i may not that's exciting i don't know we'll see how that goes sounds like an adventure <laughs>
guess I got another project.